What's up everyone, welcome to Last Call. It's still one of my newer videos under the new name, Last Call. So I'm gonna go with the concept, why I changed my name. So today I'll be making some shots. Um, pretty simple shots, straightforward shots that you can make at home, you can order at a bar. Um, most restaurants that have a full bar should be able to make them for you. So I'm just gonna show you a few different recipes right now. Just very quick, easy shots, but they're yummy, they're delicious. Um, you can order them for different occasions, birthdays, celebrations, just a night out in town, whatever you want. So I'll walk you step by step through them and I hope you enjoy it. But you're gonna see more videos like this and also more videos of bar reviews, nightclubs, tours, stuff like that. So this is just getting my feet wet with the new concept. I hope you enjoy it. Please let me know in the comments if you've enjoyed it. Also, what other shots you'd recommend to me so I can kind of give a tour, like a, you know, recommend and also sh show you guys how to make it. So let me know in the comments uh, what shot you enjoyed me making and also some that I should do in the future. So thanks so much and check this out. All right, so the very first shot we'll make probably the easiest one we'll make today. Very simple, only two liqueurs in it, very straightforward. All you have to do is put them together and mix it. It's a peanut butter and jelly shot, and I'll show you what's in it. So you have screwball whiskey, which if you've never had it, it's really good. It's a peanut butter whiskey. Um, it's really smooth, really good. Price, is, price on it is pretty decent for what you get, but I highly recommend it. It's really good, really smooth. And then you have to use some kind of a raspberry or a grape liqueur, something like that. Um, this is like the off brand of it. There's other brands that are the like the top quality ones that you're going to pay probably double the price. But honestly, this does the job. So a raspberry, grape liqueur, anything that reminds you of a uh, jelly, you know what I mean? So this is what we're using today. We're going to use raspberry. So again, it's just screwball, peanut butter, whiskey, and then a raspberry liqueur for this one. And all we're going to do is put it in a shaker, mix it up, and that's it. So here, let's go ahead and get that done. All right, guys, one side note, if you don't have the raspberry liqueur, you can use grenadine. It's kind of cheating. Um, this has no liquor in it. It's just pretty much sugar, like a cherry syrup. You can use that. It's probably going to make the shot a little bit sweeter and obviously less um, alcohol in it. But if you don't have the raspberry or grape liqueur for any reason, you can use this. Just know it's not the same. It's not going to be as strong and it's probably going to be sweeter because this is pretty much sugar. All right, so pretty much what we're going to do now is if you don't have a jigger, you can free pour it, just watch what you're doing. But I use free, uh, I use a jigger, this is about half a shot, the top part. I have a shaker with ice in it. All right, so we'll get the screwball. There we go, didn't wanna come out at first. You're gonna get this, pour it in. You're gonna get the raspberry liqueur, same thing. See if this one comes out. There we go, now it's cooperating. <laughs> All right, we're gonna pour this in. And you just shake, literally just shake it. Don't mind my shaker here, I have a Golden Knights uh, sticker on there, go Knights, go. So the hockey team for Las Vegas. All right, now I have a strainer said it's not necessary if you guys don't have one all we're gonna do now is pour it and you'll see if the color's right right away which that looks just about right it's half and half so it's a nice good color on it now because we shook it in ice it's chilled as well it doesn't have to be chilled but it definitely tastes a lot better when it is chilled honestly and the best part of it now we get to enjoy it so cheers guys Yeah, that's good. That's really good. I like it. All right. So peanut butter and jelly shot, screwball, and raspberry grape liqueur. Hope you enjoyed that one. All right. Shot number two for today is going to be a pink Starburst shot. So if you guys have ever had the um, Starburst candy, whoop, had one fall. Basically, that's Starburst. There's a pink Starburst shot. It has three ingredients in it. Let me show you what they are. First one's going to be vanilla vodka. So I use Smirnoff, you can use whatever vanilla vodka brand you want, really doesn't matter. Then you need watermelon pucker, it's another liqueur. And then this one's non-alcoholic, that's going to be your mixer, it's sweet and sour mix. So it's only three, two of them are liquors, the other one is not. Very simple, very straightforward, not that bad to make. So this one, if you're going to make it at home, 
Um, you can make it kind of look pretty if it's for, for girls, you know, for a 21st birthday party for a girl or whatever. Um, so I'm using pink sugar for the rim on this one. So basically, you get yourself a lime. And you're going to use it all around the rim of the glass. Basically, that's what's going to make it sticky for the, uh, for the sugar. Once you do that, all we're doing is getting the sugar all around the, the rim now. Sorry about this guys, next time I'll use the stand so I can have both hands free. But it came out good enough, check this out. So you have a pink sugar rim. If you go to a nightclub or a bar, they're not going to do this for you. They're just going to like pour you the, the shot like that. But just want to show you how it goes. All right, so on these bottles, I have the pour spouts on them. Makes it much easier, quicker to pour. I use them at the bars and nightclubs all the time. Um, but if you don't, you'd use a jigger or you can free pour if you think you know how much quantity is going in there. So basically, go in here. One, two, that's it for the vanilla vodka. Now the watermelon pucker, one, two, that's it for that one. And then honestly, you only need a small amount of the sweet and sour mix because it's just the filler anyway. And on top of that, the watermelon pucker and the vanilla vodka is already going to have sugar in there. So you really don't need too much of it. So then we're going to shake it up. We'll put this right over that in case I make a mess while pouring it one-handed. <laughs> Hopefully I do okay. I did all right on the last one. There we go. Yeah, perfect color. I like that color a lot. So there you go. So because we didn't use too much of the sweet and sour, it didn't dilute the color too much. So it's perfect. Just the amount of, uh, just the right amount of watermelon pucker. So it came out okay. And... Again, if we're doing this at home, we can make it as pretty as we want for like any, you know, special occasion, birthday parties, whatever you want to do. Um, at a nightclub or bar, they would not do this for you guys, just so you know. But there you go. So just add a pink Starburst on there and it's perfect, just like that. So again, um, these are really popular at one of the nightclubs I worked at. I mean, it was probably one of the most ordered shots aside from like a Vegas bomb and a Mexican candy shot. So it's extremely popular. Um... For birthday parties, for girls, etc. Look how, I mean, look how, how cool it looks. So it's really popular if you're going to make them at home or something like that. You know, it looks really cool. Girls love these shots. So not just girls, but you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, that's another one. This is a pink Starburst shot. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, but yeah, that's what we're looking on that one. It's one of the cooler looking ones if you kind of do it at home. All right. So if you've been following my channel, you know that I've been traveling to Mexico a lot. I mean, I, I am, I have a Mexican background. I am Mexican-American, um, but I also have been going to Thailand. I just got back from Thailand. I was there for two months. It's a great time. One thing, a uh, similarity I learned between Mexico and Thailand is that they both like spicy food and mango is very popular in both countries. So my next shot is going to be a spicy mango shot. It has four ingredients to it. Patron or tequila. It doesn't have to be Patron, guys, just tequila. And it could be silver or gold. Um, I'd probably say go smoother with um, silver tequila, but honestly, you can do with both. Um, mango juice or mango puree. I would honestly recommend mango puree. I just couldn't find it at the regular supermarket. It's, so it's going to be a little bit thinner, not as thick with regular mango juice instead of a puree, but either one will work. A hot sauce, like a Tabasco or Tapatio, some kind of um, hot sauce. And then tahine, which is uh, like a seasoning sauce. It's very popular with Hispanic drinks. Um, it has some lime kick to it, but yeah, that's just going to give it the nice seasoning around the rim, and it's also going to give it a nice little kick for the actual shot itself. So four ingredients, two of them are very simple, just hot sauce and tahini seasoning. So it's really just two, the uh, mango puree or mango juice and tequila. And then also because it is tequila based, you would garnish it with a tequila or uh, with the lime. All right, so because this bottle is massive and um, I'm not going to put a pour spout on it, I'm just going to pour this one into the jigger. This bottle's so big, I hope I don't screw that part up either. 
a lot of weight on that wrist. <laughs> there we go. Here we go. Okay, cool. All right, so tequila's in there. Now let's get the mango juice. Should have shaken it up before. Sorry. All right, so we're going to do the same thing with this one. Right into the jigger. Like I said, if we if we would use a puree, it would just be thicker, you know, and probably a little bit sweeter. So it just depends on how you like your shots. That's it. All right, so that's it. We got our ingredients in there. Like I said, it's just two main ones. Now we're gonna shake it. Golden night sticker. Go nights go. All right, give it a nice little shake. It's also chilling it while I'm doing that, so that's good. All right, so to prevent time, I already did this, but I just use a lime again, fresh lime around the rim of the of the shot glass. It makes the tahini stick to it really good. So I already did that just to prevent uh, wasting time and also because it's hard doing it with one hand. <laughs> like I said, next time I'll use my my uh, my stand or the tripod thing for it. But there you go, that's what it's pretty much gonna look like. If you're using a puree, it would have more of a mango look to it. But this is a juicer, it's thinner, so it's not gonna have that look like it. And now, it depends on how you wanted to do it. If you wanted to basically shake it up properly, you could add the, the tapatio or Tabasco, the hot sauce, before shaking it, which actually would make it dissolve faster, better into the shot. Um, but this does look cooler if you pour it in after. Now, obviously, the more Tabasco you put in there or Tapatio, the hotter it's going to be. So just know your audience and know if they like spicy food or not. But, yeah, you can shake it up beforehand if you want. But, yeah, that's ultimately what it's going to look like. If you're using a puree because it's a little bit thicker, the, the hot sauce would kind of float around a little bit more instead of going right to the bottom. Again, it just depends. But, yeah, very simple shot. Very effective. It's very popular. It's huge in Mexico. Um, like I said, I'm sure Thailand's gonna love this because it's very big there too. So let's give it a taste. Hope I didn't put too much hot sauce in there. Let's let's see. All right. That's good. And that um, tahini, the seasoning, gave it that right kick while I was um, eating. While I was um, swallowing it so it's really good actually so again that's a spicy mango shot with tequila base in it all right and the last shot we're gonna do today it's actually one that I personally never tried before but it sounds exciting so we'll try it two alcohols two liqueurs and one non liqueur filler so Kahlua screwball which we messed with earlier we did the peanut butter and jelly shot with this one so this is a peanut butter whiskey and then milk just regular milk now if you go to um, a bar or anything they're probably only going to have regular milk or they won't have milk at all. Um, but if you make it at home, I would say almond milk probably tastes better. But like I said, if you go to a bar, they're not going to have that. So you got to go with what they have. So just remember that. And doesn't have the pour spouts on it. So we're going to go ahead and use this jigger. So again, this baby side on top is a half shot. All right, so whiskey, peanut butter whiskey. Now we're gonna put the Kahlua in there. All right. And we won't use a jigger for the milk because it's only gonna take a small splash of it, but. Now you guys can eyeball this one. If you guys like a, um, you know, a stronger base, then you guys would put more milk in there, etc. But this is pretty standard how we're going to make it here. Just a splash of milk. We're going to shake it. And we're going to pour. 
port now. That color looks good. Looks just about right. All right, so here's the shot. About to try it right now. Like I said, it's my first time doing this one too, but let's try it and see how it tastes. Not bad. Really smooth, actually. I feel like the whiskey and the Kahlua actually kind of cancel themselves out. Um, if I made another one, I'd probably add a tiny bit more of milk to it. But overall, not bad at all. Pretty smooth. So I like that one. So this was my first type of video doing this type of thing. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, please let me know in the comments what you thought was helpful, what I can improve on, and also what shots I should do in the future or what kind of drinks you like. Um, there's so many different things I can do. There's even glow in the dark stuff. So there's a lot of different things. So again, thank you so much. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, please like this video. I'm trying to grow this channel again. I lost some sub subscribers when I left uh, Thailand, so I have to build this channel up again. Um, and please uh, turn on, make sure notifications are turned on. And like I said, just let me know. Um, I'm open to showing you guys all kinds of things, doing some shots with y'all. Just let me know. Again, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please drink responsibly. Don't drink and drive. Again, thank you so much for watching. Welcome.